with tasseled hair, pajamas, and a sunrise behind me. This is your beloved blogger saying arise and shine. This week's topic is when life doesn't turn out as expected. You know, tonight I'll be signing books and meet and greeting at um, the book house in Albany, New York. If any of you happen to be in the upstate New York, please come down. It's from six to seven. But you know, my writing didn't start out uh, writing about portals to heaven. Uh, I wanted to be an investigative reporter because I grew up in the Watergate era. I wanted to go up to heaven and uh, bring my expose pen and expose this God who is loving, generous, kind, compassionate, the greatest person you ever want to meet. Well, life doesn't turn out the way we expect. So in my case, God desired to bring me a little bit more down to earth. <laughs> Take a holy and pure desire, but a little ethereal, and bring it right in front of me. And that's when he begins exposing portals to heaven. Portals to heaven are openings in the spirit that are either literal or metaphorical love letters of God. Something that he's showing right in front of you, moment by moment. They're there. You just got to see them. And I began to get a sense of joy and peace as I discovered more and more of these love letters. No, writing about portals is not the great American novel. It's not a hit song. It's not a great, big, splashy movie. But it's just like God to take one of these desires and tweak it a bit. Yes, you guessed it. He makes a fine editor. <laughs> there will come a time when I'll be up in heaven with a pen in hand. But for now, I'll have my pen in hand signing my books at the bookhouse in Stuyvesant Plaza. Today's portal to heaven. Portals are normally closer and more obvious than we think, though we love to make easy assignments tough. And our scripture for today is, the Lord your God will delight in you if you obey his voice. And this command I'm giving you today is not too difficult to understand. It is not beyond your reach. It is not kept in heaven so distant that you must ask. Who will go up to heaven and bring it down so we can hear it and obey? Until tomorrow, this is the tasseled hair, pajama wearing, sunrise watching, beloved blogger saying, arise and shine.